But now we have bigger problems. What the? Let's get out of here. Ah! <laughs> and the traditional tossing of the sprite. What is it? I'm okay. Just dizzy. We have to get out of here now. Uh, conveniently placed warp. It's a mana beast. Isn't it a Flammy? <laughs> we just named our dragon Flammy Elise. That's not their real name. I guess Flammies were once mana beasts. <laughs> Hurry, or the mana beast will ruin the world. Come on, do it. I can't. I won't hurt a mana beast. I can't. They're only trying to restore mana. And... Franco, if you use up all your mana power, you'll disappear. Oh, no! Right, I can't go through with this. That was a sudden plot point out of nowhere. What do you mean? I'm not gonna kick the bucket. My world is separate from this one. It just means I won't see you again. Okay, if we don't stop the mana beast, your world is finished, right? Everything will perish. Trees, animals, people. That must not happen. You have the mana sword. You must save this world. You have no choice. <laughs> you made a vow to your mother the mana tree, right? <laughs> I'll be okay. All right. You're sure? Of course. Later, Elise. Take the sword. We'll cast mana magic, then... Mana Sword will appear. So indeed, to get this to work, Valor has to be equipped with the sword. Then, both the girl and the sprite have to use mana magic from Dryad's menu. Come on, guys. Cutscene going on. Have a little respect. We've revived the Mana Sword. As can be seen by its nice, healthy green glow. The Mana Sword itself isn't actually necessary to defeat the Mana Beast. If you're so inclined, you actually can just muddle through it healing whenever needed. But it does make the battle go a lot faster. Just due to the severe power boost it gets. Nine hundred ninety-nine damage, and that's just from a normal strike, not even charged up. Granted it was a critical, but still. I'm not even charging up, and this is the kind of damage I'm doing with each hit. That's the true power of the Mana Sword. And given the kind of health the Mana Beast has, yeah, you kinda want this boost. Especially since he keeps doing his little uh, aerial acrobatics there. Depending on how long the fight goes on, you may have to recast Mana Magic and re-revive the Mana Sword. It sadly is not a permanent revival. Yep, magic faded. So let's take care of that, shall we? Thankfully, Mana Magic is cheap. So, unlike the Saber spells, Mana Magic actually does indeed seem time-based. Pretty much there isn't much else to show off with the Mana Beast anyway. Basically, 
everything he can do was shown off there. Including his bizarre Mode 7 disappearance. Exclamation point! Metal Gear! Franco! He's gone. I didn't even say goodbye. Yes, that's right, it's plot death, so no cup of wishes this time. Franco! Is it just me or are there two moons in the sky? Franco, I'll never forget you. You and the extreme amount of money taken to revive you constantly. Me too. And Dialuk too, of course. Dialuk, we hardly knew you, because you weren't really that important to the plot. The Mana Beast is turning into... Snow. Okay. Why not? And, yeah, that's the last line of the game. <laughs> so, time to roll the credits. So, as long as we're rolling credits here... Wait, I... Uh, oh god, there's four moons! <laughs> ah, the fun of uh, background sprite limitations. So anyway, though, as we're rolling the credits here, I can talk a bit about the game. Obviously, Secret of Mana is not without its flaws. It is glitchy all over the place, but the thing is, they're not really game-ending glitches. You tend to see that a lot in games these days, of glitches that just completely freeze the game on you. And I don't really know of too much that happened like that with this. In fact, Secret of Mana seems to be good at fixing its own glitches. But overall, it is still a very fun, playable game, and I'd highly recommend at least giving it a try, if nothing else. Yay, Scorpion Army! So, I'm not actually done with Secret of Mana, per se. There are some extra things I do plan to show off, like that, uh, Ninth Sword Orb thing I was talking about. I also do want to demonstrate all the magic and all the charge attacks, since I haven't done that before, and... Uh, it shouldn't take too long to grind everything up to that level, with how long things took getting the weapon orbs. <laughs> I mean, heck, with Valor, for the weapons, I think I only have to charge the gloves and the axe up one level, since there don't seem to be level 9 charges. Well, she may be an ordinary old woman these days, and not a witch, but she still has jumping chairs. <laughs> Is more Cannon Travel Brothers really a good thing? <laughs> After that one that sent us into the desert? And finally, the stalker blacksmith dwarf is going home. Seriously, how did you beat us, like, everywhere? Even the sunken continent. That, that's the weirdest one. At least he is not on the mana fortress. That would have just been really weird. Yay, it's Nico. He is adorable.
And we'll just completely ignore Fana and turn Elise over to her father, see if they can uh, reach a better agreement now. Quick visit back to the Water Palace and Luca. Have you learned to save our game again yet? And we're back to Potos. Yeah, we got in through the other entrance. Didn't expect that, did you? You didn't post anyone there. And so, Valor returns the Mana Sword from a distance. And, meanwhile, the Sprite. Sitting in a tree, seemingly no worse for wear. The optimist in me always liked to take this to mean that the sprite did get to come back or something so they could all hang out again. I don't know. It, it is left fairly ambiguous, and... <laughs> let's face it, the end plot points just all kind of come shooting out of nowhere anyway. <laughs> Who knows, maybe Dialog is out there somewhere. So with that, that is pretty much the end of the main run of Secret of Mana. Like I said, I still have more to show. It's just going to be a matter of getting all the raw footage together. And, uh, yeah, for those wondering, I don't think there's actually a way off the end screen here. So once you reach this, that's pretty much the end point for the game. You can't, like, go back and restore a saved game or whatever. You actually had to turn the system off and back on. But... For our purposes, we don't need to worry about that for now. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the series, and I shall see you again next time with the extras for this game. And until then, fare thee well.